racers, Daryl Eckel here, Motocross Action Magazine. We have the factory edition KTM 250 SXF with us today. Um, back in October, I went over to Austria, checked out these bikes before they were in out. Um, now it's really cool to see these bikes into fruition and come out and actually get to ride them. If I would compare the engines between the 2015 and the factory edition, there's a lot of similarities on the top of the power band. But this bike has a lot more bottom to mid, but the power is very linear. So there's not a big hit, but there's a lot more power from all the way from the bottom to the top and over rev. From last year's Ford CS forks to the factory edition's forks, they're really plush up top, and they have a lot more resistance, bottom resistance. Uh, last year we had a problem with being harsh and blowing through. There's still a little bit of harshness in them, but we have a lot more adjustments to make to try to get that a lot smoother. The biggest change that I feel from the 2015 to the factory edition is the ergonomics of the bike. When you get on the 15 KTM, it just feels kind of foreign. You really got to get used to it. The factory edition just feels comfortable right when you jump on. Like you, you want to jump the jumps, first lap, everything just feels on point as far as where the bar position is and the foot pegs, where those are, I think they move them a couple millimeters back, which really made you have a stable feeling through the corners. Uh, it controlled the bike and it's super stable. The 15 just kind of felt it had kind of an awkward feeling. So I think they really uh, fixed those changes for the better and, and resolved those problems. Also with the new foot pegs and the new shifter tip, they are self-cleaning. So there's before when you get in the corner, you get really low. Uh, dirt sometimes gets stuck up in there and puts them up like this. So now every time you get in a corner, it self-cleans itself so that never happened. And same with the, the shifter tip also. In the past couple years, Honda's been really big on mass centralization. Um, and we really didn't really grasp that concept too well with the bike. We knew it was really nimble. But KTM really upped that and tried to move everything towards the center of the bike. And it's almost kind of weird. It almost feels like a two-stroke in a way because it feels really light and nimble. And also when you're, when you're maneuvering it, it kind of goes where you want it to go and it's almost hard to bring it back because when you have more mass, mass outside of it, it's kind of more wobbly feeling. So now it's way more stable in the air and in the corners. Overall with the factory edition bike, I have to say I'm super happy. It was really something that's been a long time coming for this bike to be changed and they made a lot of revisions. There's still a few hiccups that I think we can, we can kind of tweak a little bit with, with gearing and some suspension, but overall this really took what was last in the shootout really up to the top three. So the power on the 2015 and a half Dungey Edition bike, it feels like it's uh, spread out a lot longer. Uh, it fills in the gaps where last year's bike kind of had a, a little bit of a pop and then a dip and then it revved back out. This bike fills those gaps in and revs a little bit farther. And it also has the map switch, has the aggressive map on number two and the standard on number one. Uh, I just did two laps on each of them. The number one has a little bit more uh, torque off the bottom, a little bit more grunt, easier to ride in third gear. Uh, the aggressive map pulls about five feet farther, uh, seems to rev a little better. I think it would be better on a harder track and a more advanced rider. We'll do a lot more testing to make that uh, come out in the next issue. This bike feels a lot more planted. The suspension feels like it's uh, more evenly balanced. The, the shock puts more pressure on the forks in some areas, which helps the forks seem a little bit more plush, which is not a, a, normal, a normal thing. Normally when you put a load on these uh, forks, they seem to be a little harsh in the middle. It could be because the bike's so much lighter that uh, that harshness in the middle has gone away on the uh, forks. The, my most favorite thing about the bike is the foot pegs. The foot pegs seem like uh, they pull your feet closer into the frame, where last year's model felt like my feet were a little bit bowed out. My feet feel like they're pulled in so I can squeeze the bike better with my legs and control the bike with my hips. Uh, the seat is nice and flat so you can move forward or back. And just the overall package from the foot pegs to the handlebar height seems uh, spot on. So the gearing on the bike comes stock with a 48. Um, I felt like it was pretty good here at Glen Helen. The dirt's kind of hard packed, so the bike's not really under a load. Uh, if you're more of a lazy rider and you like to leave it in third gear, we'll be doing some testing with obvious up and down gearing uh, to see where, uh, where some of the vet riders and where some of the fast riders will like it. But I have a feeling on the deep loamy tracks on the east coast or stop and go riders, we'll definitely knock it up a tooth.